What's up everyone, today I will be showing you how to use custom icons in a Flutter project. So if you come from native Android development like me, you are probably familiar with SVG and vector drivers. First you have SVG icons, then use Android Studio to convert it into a vector driver. But in Flutter it works a little bit differently. Okay, so this is a new Flutter project I just created. Right now we don't have to understand everything here. What we are curious about is just this part. So let's run and see how it looks like. Okay, so we have here a, a cross icon. Let's change it to something else so we can see it. Save it. Here you can see it changed to a new icon, an RLAM icon. So let's go inside and see what it looks like. As you can see here, Flutter use phone family to draw icons so these are all common material design icons created by Google and actually what we have to do is convert our icon in SVG format into a new phone family and how can we actually do this so let's find and download a new custom icon I'm going to use this site to find one. By the way, if you haven't heard about this, I really recommend it because here you can find too many different custom icons created by the community and even Google itself. So let's go ahead and find something like a panda. Click here and we can see it allows you to download SVG and vector driver and PNG in different sizes. Let's download it in SVG format. Okay, now that we have a SVG icon. What we need to do next is somehow convert it into phone family. And to do this, we need to go to this side. I'm gonna put all these links in the description of this video. So here we can import our panda icon. So let's go ahead and select this. Here you can see we can generate a phone family of this icon. Let's click it. Alright, so now that we have a phone that looks like a panda, we can actually download it and use it in our Flutter project. But before we do that, we have something pretty important to do. So as you can see here, by default, uh, your phone name is called this. And actually you want to name it something more meaningful like this one. And now let's download it. Alright, so here we have our zip file with fonts and other stuff in this. Let's go ahead and extract this. So inside this folder we have different files, but we actually only need this one right here. 
So let's go ahead and copy it into our project. Let's create a new folder called something like this. Right. Copy paste it into this folder. Okay, so the next step we need to go into this pubspec.yam file. And as you can see here, these are examples of how to add new fonts in your Flutter project. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. Let's call it Panda. Here we can just copy and paste the related part of this file. Alright, so just don't forget to synchronize your packages. So in here, the system realized that something has changed. It kind of forces to update the dependencies. Let's do that. The last and final step is we need to use this font we just added here. So the icon widget is something called icon data and here we actually can be a little bit lazy and just copy and paste this right here. Right. In here we have font family is the name of our font is panda. And this value, actually, we have to go back and copy paste this value. Now we can go ahead and save to see what happened. All right, so the icon has changed like we wanted. So far, so good. Right now, I want to add a new icon here. So to do this, we can just go ahead and add something here. By the way, if you don't want to use this new and cons keywords, you don't have to. You can just do it like in Kotlin. Right there. Right, so we just added a new icon there. So actually, let me go ahead and add a new font, a new icon to just demonstrate all the steps that we just did. Let's try a new icon. Maybe a dog. So here we can repeat all those steps. Import it. So select it. And generate the font. Change the name. Extract file, copy and paste it into our phone's folder, and here add a new phone.
synchronize it. In here, you can add any items. So it's dark. Save it. We synchronize the dependencies to a hot window. Alright, so we just add a new dog item. So that's it guys. I really hope this video was somehow useful. I think that in the future maybe there will be some kind of built-in plugin that allows us to create custom icons for Flutter easily inside of Android Studio. Anyway, if you like the video, please leave it a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'm looking forward to sharing my thoughts and experiences about Android and mobile development. Take care and don't let your code stress you too much.